I wonder whether you've ever thought to yourself, I would love to stand out, to do things differently, to make a difference, to change the world, to break the mold. But you figured, no, that's impossible. In many ways, that was my story. Or it could have been. When I was younger, I wanted to be a teacher. I wanted to work in fashion and I wanted to change the world. But I'm a little person. I have dwarfism, which is a physical disability that means my arms and legs are a little bit shorter than most people. Growing up, there weren't very many teachers or writers or fashion designers or activists who were disabled like me. Not seeing someone who looked like me in the places I longed to be meant that I used to think that my dreams were impossible. But from my earliest days, my parents encouraged me to believe that I could do anything that I dreamed of. They told me I might have to find a different way to achieve my dream. But it wasn't impossible. Just because it hadn't been done before, it didn't mean that I couldn't be the first. I went on to become the first little person to be on the cover of Vogue, a monthly fashion and lifestyle magazine. I was the first little person to attend the Met Gala, which is a very fancy fundraising ball where lots of celebrities get dressed up in amazing costumes. I created the first little person doll and the first little person mannequin. Because when I was growing up, there was never any toys or shop mannequins that looked like me. I introduced the word for little person into the Irish dictionary and into Irish Sign Language, and I am the first little person to ever advise the President of Ireland. I'm part of a group of people called the Council of State, who he calls on whenever there is a big decision to be made. I was able to fulfil my dreams. Now I want to help you fulfil yours.